God bless you, people of God, listeners from all over the world. Welcome once again, amen, to the word of the Lord. I bless you, amen. I just wanted to continue a little bit and bewitched who have bewitched you. Also, I want to pray for you guys. I want to pray, amen, by the leading of the Holy Ghost. So, Father, I just want to thank you. I just want to praise you for this time, for this moment. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, O oh God, for the listeners, those that are listening. In the name of Jesus, I pray, O oh God, that you bless their families, their cities, their home, their nation, their ministries, amen, their churches. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Now, there was a situation that was has taken place in among the Galatians that they are no longer walking after the truth. They have been bewitched. Amen. They have been bewitched by a lie and they have been bewitched by a spirit, I believe, by witchcraft. Amen that they are no longer following the truth. And, and it's amazing that they witnessed the truth at a forehand. They saw the truth. They taste the truth. Amen. And we ourselves at times had a similar experience that we know the truth about someone about the, the nation, the prime minister, the government, even your very ministry, amen, about your husband, your wife. But somewhere along the line, someone come with something that is totally opposite than what you know, than what you believe, amen. And it is totally taking over your spirit and your mind that cause it to waver, that cause it to be divided within your spirit. Hallelujah. You know, become to be a form of a puppet. You fall under the control of a witchcraft spirit. Hallelujah. You no longer think for yourself. Amen. Everything about you has now been manipulated. Your finances, your health, your business, Everything around it begin now to be manipulated when you be when you are under a spirit of bewitchment. Amen. So I wanted to pray against this witchcraft spirit. And I'm only gonna give you some scriptures, amen. Some prayer points so that whenever you're praying or you're fasting, if you have been experiencing any form of witchcraft in your life, amen, especially when you have been bewitched, hallelujah, because in the last days, the Bible says in Matthew 24, 24, for they shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect, amen. And the elect is those that walk in with God, that believe in the truth, that has experienced the truth, experiencing the truth about God and who God is. If they don't, don't be very careful that they themselves, people of God, be very careful, shall be and can be deceived. Amen. In this end time hour, in this <clears throat> in these last days, sorry. So, I'm going to give you some scriptures. You, you got um, 2 Kings 9, verses 22. You got 2 Kings 9 from verse 30 to 33. Amen. And also, there was a scenario that takes place in Acts 8, verse... Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
verse 9. When there's a situation with Simon the sorcerer, that used sorcery to bewitch the people of Samaria, giving them the impression that he is a great one, he's a great man of God. He has power. But guess what? He has been doing signs of wonders for a very, very long time. And they had regard because that of a long time he had bewitched them with sorcery. And when Philip came on the scene now and began to be preaching the things concerning the kingdom, and we all know that the kingdom of God comes with power. When he began to preach the kingdom of God, hallelujah, the Holy Ghost began to move on the hearts of the people. Hallelujah, every lies, every deceit begin to dispel from their heart, from their spirit, from among them. Their eyes is now begin to open and see the light. My God, even the sorcerer that was performing the witchcraft upon the people for such a long time believed. Because if his power was no match for the power of God. So it takes undiluted, dynamic power to destroy witchcraft and any form of bewitchment against your life. Amen? Hallelujah? Jesus. I thank you, Lord. Friends, listeners from all over the world, you might be asking then, who can be bewitched? Christians can be bewitched. Non-Christians alike. Nations, homes, governments, cities, islands, businesses, schools, and the list goes on that can be bewitched. Amen? The Bible said, you notches, the you notch destroyed Jezebel when they threw her down. She splattered all over the place. Hallelujah. There will be a great freedom in your life when you destroy you remove the operation from among you, the spirit of Jezebel. The spirit of control, the spirit of wickedness. The spirit of manipulation. A cunning and crafty spirit. You got to destroy it. You got to remove it from you. Amen. So as I begin to pray. Hallelujah, wherever you are, just take a few minutes with me in the name of Jesus and begin to pray that any power that comes to manipulate you and cause you to walk in a place of error, to mistrust God and misjudge God, you render it null and void now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And every forces of darkness that rise up against the knowledge of God be roasted by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And you pray like this. Let the burning coils fall upon them, Lord. Let them cast into the fire, into the deep pits that they rise not again in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let not any evil speaker be established in the earth. The word of the Lord declares that evil shall haunt the violent man to throw him down in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord declares, I know the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and the poor 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I bless you. Father, I pray, O oh God, that you grant not, O oh Lord, the desires of the wicked. Further not his wicked device, lest that they exalt themselves, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I bless your holy name, Papa. I exalt your holy name, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I bless you and I honor you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I pray now that you break the back of wickedness in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, O oh God, that you break every witchcraft spell, every cauldron, every incantation in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, those that have been bewitched in the name of Jesus, even those that have been bewitched right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, O oh God, that you send your sword in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray, O oh God, that you send the word of God in their midst in the name of Jesus Christ to bring light, to bring freedom to their families, to their home, their ministries, oh God, their governments in the name of Jesus Christ of Nice Robo San Kandarabosai in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, let God arise and let the enemies of your people be scattered in the name of Jesus Christ. Set them free, God, in the name of Jesus. Robo seeking the masokondo robo sai. Oh Rabba Sakanda Rabosai. I pray, oh God, that the Rabosai that they will take their place in you God in the name of Jesus that they will rise up in prayer and fasting in the name of Jesus Christ and throw down every stronghold every strong man of bewitchment in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth oh God the word declares oh God that the truth shall set them free in the name of Jesus Christ I pray oh God that those that are bind those that have been bound, uh, those that have been entangled, uh, untangle them, O oh God, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, break Gorobo uh, Sandarabo Siki di Besaya, Ribe Sandarabosa, every deceit, uh, every delusion, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, break every confusion uh, over the minds of your people, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, every confusion uh, in the Rabosai, uh, that ever Robosai, uh, that is in the midst of every marriage. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, be broken. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, I pray, O oh God, um, that you rekindle by the fire back uh, in every marriages, uh, in every homes, uh, in every ministries. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, let the spirit of freedom, let the spirit of truth uh, begin to break every barriers now. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, and set the people free. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, even those that are listening to my voice, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a shaking. Let there be a rumbling in the name of Jesus Christ. Break the chains. Break the cages in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Those, oh God, uh, that are living in a cage, those that have been placed in a cage, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, you said, oh God, uh, in your word, uh, it was Paul and Silas uh, that begin to pray, uh, and it was at midnight, oh God, uh, there was a earthquake, uh, there was a shaking and a rumbling, uh, and the gates, oh God, uh, the prison gates was burst wide open, in the name of Jesus, uh, oh, those robo uh, those has been shackled, uh, Set them free, God, in the name of Jesus. Those has been shackled in their minds, in their hearts, in their spirit, in their walk with you, God. I pray, O oh God, that you will set them free in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I pray, O oh God, that they will walk in a place that they will trust you. They will walk in a place that will robo that they will believe in your word in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you and I praise you. 
and I honor you, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold the hands of your brother, hold the hands of your sister, hold the hands of your husband, hold the hands of your wife, in the name of Jesus Christ, and begin to pray. Hold the hands of your pastor, of your leader, in the name of Jesus Christ, and begin to pray. Pray for your prime minister, pray for your president. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Bible said the government rests upon the shoulders of the church. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, pray now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that the will of God to be done in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray now. In the name of Jesus Christ, that every Jezebelic manipulation, cunning, crafty, or robo sandaradabasa rules over this people be broken in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And Father God, I thank you and I praise you and I honor you, God. For you said, oh God, who the Lord have set free is free indeed in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for freedom in every marriage, every home, every ministries in the name of Jesus. Every leader that has been manipulated by the spirit of Jezebel, oh God, be broken now in the name of Jesus Christ. And let the spirit of the Lord reign in every lives, in every marriage in every schools, every government, nations, and islands, in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, I pray, O oh God, that you break every satanic power over your people, over your listeners, in the name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you and I praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Stand strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Let no one deceive you. Jesus says in Matthew 24, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, say, I'm Christ, and shall deceive many. Many shall come and say, I am a man of God, I am a woman of God, I am of God, in the name of Jesus. The Bible said, try every spirit by the spirit, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, take heed, people of God. This is the end time hour. This is the last days in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible said the thief comes but to steal, kill, and destroy. But the Lord God comes to give life and more and more abundantly in the name of Jesus. Walk in the Spirit. Walk in the Spirit. So you shall not fulfill the flesh thereof. In the name of Jesus. Walk in the power of God. Walk in the dunamis power of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Stand for your family. Stand for your nation. Stand for your ministry. Stand for your churches. In the name of Jesus Christ. And kick out and, and throw down every Jezebelic forces. In the name of Jesus. Every Delilah, Athelia, Mando, Robo, Sire. Break now in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, I thank you and I praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Be set free in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You'll be blessed right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord.